and welcome to the Rookie Street Stocks here at Southern National. I ended off, off my last week in Rookies, and uh, what, you thought I was just going to get out of Rookies that easy? Nuh-uh. Takes some dedication here. <laughs> we are, coincidentally, starting the week, the next week, in Rookie Street Stocks, just because it is something quick to run before ARCA. The first for Arca race of the week starts here. Green flag, green flag. And I happen to like this combo quite a bit. Like the street stocks at Southern National. Make sure I hit my marks here. Mm, a little wide on entry there. Not perfect. P2, that was a 15.6. And didn't hit, hit my marks quite right there either, but that's okay. Um, should hopefully be able to get a somewhat decent starting spot. Just gonna have fun. Um, I, the last race, so the rookie street stock was actually pretty good. Um, I, even though I got wrecked, uh, the one at USA that was that was some good fun. So I figured, hey, let's. Uh, this is one of my options here to start the week. Last week, USF 2000 is what I did. But they're on a track this week I don't own at Long Beach. I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase that one. So uh, I saw this one. I'm like, hey, Street Stocks at Southern National. That's a pretty fun combo. USA wasn't so bad. So I'll hop in here. Before we go to ARCA at Thompson, which is a combo I've never done. That's going to be fun. But um, hopefully we have a, a decent time. I think this could be a little more treacherous, though. Because USA, you got a little bit of room to maneuver. But uh, here at Southern National, I feel like, um, you know, you got a little less room to get around people. You might have guys crashing and then just being all over the track, maybe sliding down the banking right into the racing line. This could be a bit more messy than USA, but uh, should be all right. I was talking to this guy. I just I literally just watched uh, Gavin's race. Of that same combo, Street Stocks at uh, USA. And I'm like, hey, I just saw you in that race. I just happened to notice the name because he's uh, pretty active on the mic. So I was like, hey, I just saw you there. Good luck. Just because I thought it was funny that I literally just watched that on YouTube. And then I pop in here and it's the same guy. But hey, that was really quick. Everyone got their laps in super fast, I guess. And we're ready to go. Line up on the outside. It's uh, unfortunately kind of a weaker field. It's top split, but it's 2.0. I thought it was going to be a little higher, but I mean, it is rookie street stock, so I don't know why I would expect that. But, you know, decent amount of participation, so I thought, you know, maybe we'd get uh, a bit of a stronger field, but not really. Not really at all. But if anything bad happens, or anything. I have no one to blame but myself for joining a rookie race and then being surprised that there are inexperienced drivers here. <laughs> so, only can be upset at myself if something goes wrong. But hopefully it will not go wrong. Hopefully we'll have ourselves a fun race. Get everything set up here. We're good for 284 laps. So uh, it's going to be tight on fuel. We might have to lift and coast a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot of fuel. They filled this thing up. They want it to burn if you are in a wreck, I guess. They just want to, they want you to erupt in flames. Good luck, fellas. Maybe third year start. Good luck. I don't think you want to uh, shift this thing too much if you don't have to. Breaks a lot of momentum in this car. So we'll try third gear start. Seems like it should be fine. Unfortunately, I'm in my least favorite starting spot. I'm over on this track real quick. Go here, here. One to go. Thank you. I also wanted to just be nice to that guy because uh, apparently he's genuinely new. And he's like, what? He was asking, like, why the track changed. And I answered his question uh, in the open practice. So just being nice to new people. We really uh, got on my door there. Promise you don't need to work that hard to beat me. <laughs> not, 
not that good in this car or at any tracks that are short. Nice, I'm out. But, he uh, really maximized the start. It's a good for him. Half three. Good job, 30. 30. I don't think there's a 30 in here, but... I've knocked my wheels out of alignment. Oh no, he's learning the wonders of knocking wheels out of alignment. It's truly a tragic curse. Would like to get away a little bit for P3. Just uh, so I don't have to worry about too much behind me. So I can focus a little better on uh, what I'm doing. But uh, that would require me to be fast, so we'll see about that. He's kind of uh, all up my rear end at the moment, so nothing doing there yet. But just going to try to be consistent. It seemed like the right front was actually wearing a bit. In practice. So... Maybe try to go a little easier on it, but I can't really take it too easy because then the guy behind is just going to pass me and then uh, it's going to be really hard to get back around. So, not really going to worry too much about that. Just going to try to hit my marks, not abuse it too much. Be consistent. So far, so good, I think. Got my brake bias all the way back. Didn't feel like it was getting... Oh, God. Someone being wiggly. I didn't know if they were going to, like, intentionally wreck us or something. It's another fun thing you can get. It's people that just get the service and they're just going to decide to wreck people on purpose and stuff. So that's a little more likely here than in other places even. But thankfully he was just being wiggly, I guess. I don't know what it was for. We're on this guy's tail. I want to make sure I can get him on exit or something rather than uh, try to dive it in on him or anything like that. See if we can pull that off. But if we end up P2 as well, that's just fine. I'll give it my best, but I'm not gonna wreck someone for the win in a rookie street stock race. Seems a bit silly. I wouldn't do that anywhere anyway. But you know. is this guy gonna wreck me for second place before we're even halfway through the race? Looks like he's getting pretty close to my bumper. Looks he did for a moment. Being a little more aggressive on exit now, letting the banking catch me. It's getting me a little more speed. That's kind of what I was trying to avoid doing earlier, just to be a little easier on the right front. But then the guy behind was getting too close, so now I have to push just a bit harder. <laughs> Try to stay away from him. Right on this guy's bumper, though. What can we do with it? Can we get a run? No, uh-oh, we got something going on up ahead. That lap time was 15.9. Looks like they got it figured out. I also moved my steering ratio to 10 to 1. Just get a little bit extra turn in. All of my habits are to turn the wheel as little as possible. Because I'm used to, like, intermediate tracks and the ARCA car and stuff and... Here, I think uh, it does benefit you to just give it as much turn as you can. Well, not as much as you can, but it's okay to give a little extra turn in the wheel and help you be fast. Be shorter sp sprint races, so I like how it feels.
little early on the throttle there, maybe. Y'all know what the new track is for the C class? My nose there, scare him a bit, maybe. That guy's talking about C class right now. I would answer him, but a little busy. Y'all seen that new Avengers movie? That is not the answer to that guy's question. <laughs> Or is it? We're racing at uh, you, uh, Wakanda. <laughs> I don't know what new Avengers movie he's talking about. But if we're racing at iRacing Super Speedway, why can't we race in Wakanda, huh? Give me one good argument. Bet you can't. Other than there is no racetrack in Wakanda, as far as we know. Your lap time was 16.0. Oh, shoot. Car outside. <laughs> Clear outside if you want it. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you that bump there. Well, that sucks for the guy behind. I backed off to uh, let him gather it up, and then the guy behind just ran into me, and somehow that spun him. He's really slow off the corner. Just done at 16.0. And uh, I had to check up, or else I was gonna hit him harder. The guy behind wasn't ready. So that kind of sucks. Race pace. Well, that was a Feeling pretty good. If I like feel like I can potentially get back up to back up to him here, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get around him. He would have to make a mistake maybe. I don't know, he's kind of losing pace. He might have been too hard on the right front or something. That lap time was 15. Oh, he's got short track fatigue like I always do. Tried to get a run on him there, it didn't really work. Oh, he's, he's in the wall. We're still 14. You've just done a 16.0. Thank you, sir. Yeah, wow, he's going low on blocking off the corner. I'm not sure I like that. That's kind of cool. He's putting me in a position where I have to hit his bumper in order to get around him, and I don't want to do that. But if he's going to leave me no choice, then... We'll see. And he drove in hard. He's certainly not afraid. That lap was a 16.3. For sure. Five. Five to go. Set it up. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Alright. Outside is clear. He is. He's either gonna win or get wrecked, is what he's decided. Push now. We might win this. Don't appreciate the blocking, though. Your last lap time was at 16.5. <laughs> Two 
the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Last lap, looking good for a podium. You've just done a 16.1. That's cheap. Car stop down low. <sighs> On the podium, good drive. Chicken Didn't flag, really appreciate flag. the blocking. Great job, you did really well. He's lucky I'm nice. Oh, my bad. Wrong button. Interesting. <laughs> Wrong button. The uh, pizza, that's fine. Like I said, I wasn't going to wreck anyone for a uh, rookie street stock race, even if he was annoying me with his blocking. Um, that was damn fun, fun play. play. It's fine. We uh, get ourselves a 0x. Holy smokes, the 7 had a rough race. The 12, too. Yikes. We're going to see some interesting things, I think. I didn't see too much. I thought I was going to look at this and be like, hey, all the rookies did pretty good, but it looks like we did have some trouble. Now, what were the tires? A690, so definitely on that right front. And I was definitely much faster than the number two late in the race, but uh, he just decided to block and uh, wanted to race that way, I guess. And I don't care enough. So, we will see what on earth happened out here. Let's see, starting out, this is right at the start, like literally. And the 10's just going to turn down on the 7, looks like. Gets himself turned and takes out Chase Elliott. And then doesn't hold his brakes and hits the 12. Though, to be fair, the brakes are really bad in this thing, so maybe he was holding the brakes. Uh, no, I think he started trying to go again without checking to see if he was clear. So, probably best to just lock it down and then go when your shirt's clear. Seven goes up and hits the wall. And the ten is gonna dump him. Alright. Why? The ten's on, he's not even on the same lap anymore. He wrecked himself. But he's going to say that the, he thinks the 7 wrecked him, I guess. Uh, huh. So the 10 wrecks himself and then takes out the 7. He can uh, go ahead and find a different game to play. I don't think I race, I racing is good for him. Although he's Division 3, so apparently he's not even new. He's just going into rookie street stocks and wrecking, let's see, actual rookies. So really cool of him. Well, going around the outside of this. Okay, well, we're intentionally wrecking the seven again, I guess. Is that what we're doing? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Sure looked like he was going after him, though. Yeah, he just takes out the seven. I. I what did the seven do? <laughs> the seven has literally done nothing wrong. Are these like a bunch of kids, like the 12 and the. Whoever that was, the 10, are they just like buddies and they're in a Discord and they're like, oh, wreck the 7, he wrecked me. I don't know. 7 did nothing wrong, though. 11, up into the wall. Twelve. Blows his engines? I'm not sure what that's about. Nine getting loosed. Five sticks his nose where it doesn't really belong. I can see why he th was thinking to do it, though. Probably thought the nine was going to slide up more after getting loose, but it didn't really happen. So, I guess I can understand that. It looks like he kind of backs out on entry in the next quarter, rather than being aggressive again. So, I guess that's all fair. Oh, and Karma got him anyway. Yeah, the Karma and the Apron both got him there. That stings. He was in seventh. And then uh, the two wins. And is a big stupid head about it. And runs into somebody, probably getting an incident point. Yeah. Gave himself an instant, I think. Since not everyone finished, so. That's very smart of him, I guess. 
interesting. So, I uh, felt like I was probably the fastest one here. Uh, especially later in the run, I think he probably got on the right front, but wasn't going to make a scene <laughs> in rookie street stocks. Just having some fun before Arca. And, well, speaking of, that's going to be starting here in about 20 minutes. I want to get some practice done. So that'll do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope this is a better week for me. It's a decent start, I think. Uh, maybe I can graduate out of rookies now. <laughs> I'll see you next time, probably Arca. And I hope you have a good one.